If you want to copy arrays, you can't simply just assign one array to another. All that's going to do is point your reference variable, or which is the name of your array, to the same object in memory. You can, however, use the arrays clone method to make a copy of an array. And you can also iterate through one array and copy each element or the contents into another array. And I'm going to show you guys how to do both. So before we learn how to copy arrays, let's first learn the wrong way to do it, which is like this, int square bracket x, so our array is x, and we have the values 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now let's say you created another array called y, and you just simply assign it to x. That is not making a copy of the array. What's really happening is both x and y are both pointing to the same set of data in memory. So for example, Let's print out the contents of one of these arrays. For int i is 0, i is less than x dot length, i plus plus. Send that out, that print line, x at index i. So here is the elements in x, and for the elements in y, you see it's the same thing, so it looks like it copied it, but watch what happens if I change an element in x, x at index 0, let's change it from 0 to 5,000. So I changed x at index 0 to 5,000, so it's no longer going to be 0, but in the loop I'm printing out all the elements for y, and check out what happened. When I printed out y at index 0, that's also 5,000. So even though it looks like I made a copy of the array here, I really didn't because when I change an array element for x, it's also changing it for y. So now you have both x and y pointing to the same array, and that's not actually a copy. You just have duplicate reference variables. So now that you understand that, let's learn how to properly copy an array, and that is this way, x.clone. And by doing that, y prints out Fine, looks like the same piece of data, but now when I try to change x at index 0 to 5000 again and run the program, notice that when I print out all the elements of y, it didn't affect y at index 0 because only x at index 0 was changed. So we properly copied all the elements of x into y. And here's another way to copy an array. Let's delete all this, create another array called y again and assign it to a new int let's make it the same size which is four elements so then you can loop through one of the arrays so for int i is zero i is less than x dot length i plus plus and for every element of x we want to copy it into that same index for y so we'll set y at index i to whatever x is at that same index and just to verify that y got updated correctly, let's print out all the elements of y. And there's all the elements of y printing out, and it's just like the array x. So that is another way to copy an array. But the clone method is obviously a much easier way to do it.